Hello, welcome to Pink Faluda. Today we're going to see how to make chickpea curry. For this recipe, you will need two small green chilies halved, two garlic halved, one medium sized onion sliced, one large tomato diced, three to five curry leaves, three and a quarter teaspoon fenugreek seeds roasted, one teaspoon cumin seeds, and chili powder mixture roasted, and one cup milk. To make roasted chili powder mixture, you'll need three tablespoon chili powder, three and a quarter teaspoon pepper powder, one and a half tablespoon coriander powder, one and a half teaspoon cumin powder. Roast them together in a pot in low flame till the raw smell is gone. While roasting, keep mixing with the spoon continuously. Then you will need the main ingredient, the chickpeas. I'm using canned chickpeas today, but if you prefer to use the normal ones, then you need to keep them soaked in water overnight, then clean and boil them in water with a little salt till they become soft to eat. Remove the water from the canned chickpeas and wash them with water and drain. Repeat it two more times. The first time you will see the foam but do not be concerned, they will go away by the third time you wash them. Now put them in a pot, add water and a little salt. I have taken two chickpea cans today, therefore I put one teaspoon of salt. Always check the saltiness of the water before cooking to make sure it is not too salty. Now keep the pot on a stove and cook the peas in medium to high flames for 15 minutes. Now remove the chickpeas from the water and put them into a bowl. Sprinkle some salt and chili powder on them and mix well. For this, you can use either roasted or unroasted chili powder. Now keep the frying pan on a stove. I mostly use a non-stick pan, but you can use a normal one if you don't have a non-stick pan. But when you're using a normal pan, make sure to stir the things you're frying more at the beginning. This will prevent them from sticking to the pan. Heat the pan and make sure that it's dry, then add oil in it. Do not fill the pan fully, just fill the half of it. Keep it in medium to high flame. Use small to medium sized pans for frying so that you don't have to waste much oil. Put a little chickpeas into the pan to check if the oil is hot. If it is hot, it will immediately sizzle when it comes in contact with the chickpeas. Fry the peas in two portions. For each portion, add the chickpeas in the pan little by little because the oil level will rise up due to the moisture of the chickpeas. Now keep the flames in medium while frying. Stir the chickpeas every 1 to 2 minutes. Once they become golden brown, you can transfer them into a strainer to remove excess oil. Keep a cooking pot on a stove, heat it in medium flames. Once it is dry, add a little oil to it. 
Once the oil is hot, add the green chilies, garlic, onion, curry leaves, fenugreek seeds and cumin seeds and saute well. Once the onion becomes transparent, add tomato and mix well with a spoon. Cook it for 3 minutes, keep stirring every 30 seconds. Once the tomato becomes soft, add the chili powder mixture in it and mix well. Cook it till everything becomes a paste. Keep stirring the pot to prevent the bottom being burned. But if you face with a situation where you think that it's going to get burned, there's a quick fix for that. Just add 2-3 to three tablespoons of water and stir well. Cook this in medium to low flame for 3 minutes. Now add 3 quarter cup of milk to it and mix well. I use half volume cow milk for cooking but if you have access to coconut milk or if you are a person who uses coconut milk for cooking then take half a cup of coconut milk and add half a cup of water to it and mix well before using it for cooking. Now add a cup of water and little salt. I am putting half a teaspoon of salt but if you like to have less salt, then add little by little to it, mix well, taste it to check if you need to add more or not. Keep the lid open and cook for 5 minutes in medium flame. Keep stirring in between. Because of the milk, it might produce more foam at the first few minutes. That's why you have to stir it. Now close the lid and cook for 10 minutes. Now you can see the curry is being reduced and getting a little thicker. Now add the fried chickpeas into it and mix well. Close the lid and cook it in low flame for 7 minutes. Then add the remaining quarter cup of milk to it and mix well. If you see your curry getting more drier, then you can add half a cup of milk instead of quarter. Check for salt again and add a little if you need it. It is always best to add a very little salt at the beginning of making curries as you will Add milk or water later or sometimes to get a thicker curry you will have to cook and reduce its volume. This will change the level of salt in your curry. You can always add salt to your curries if you need more at the end. Now close the lid and cook it in a very low flame for another 7 to 10 minutes. Now the tasty chickpea curry is ready. Try it and let me know in the comment section below. If you like my videos and want to see more, please subscribe, like and share. I'll see you with another recipe soon. Until then, take care.